Hey guys, so I'm gonna do something a little bit out of my comfort zone this morning. I'm getting just about ready to go ride my black flicker filly. But I woke up this morning and I was just filled with quite a bit of emotions with what's going on in this world, especially in South Africa and the young farmer who recently was killed, uh, brutally attacked. Um, and I just feel like, I don't know, life is just hard lately. I don't know about you guys, but this has been a really dry year for me as far as my faith. I mean, I believe in God. I believe in everything. Um the bible says but i've just been struggling at just you know walking the line like i kind of feel lukewarm um but over all the time the lord is showing me that you know you can do life without me like every time i think i got this he just brings me right back to my knees and say that i cannot live without him and i'm not afraid to say that so I want to share something with you guys this morning. Um, since this is my horse page, um, it just, it really breaks my heart sometimes to see so many uh, horsemen uh, and women, mostly women, that just beat themselves up, that really struggle with their self-confidence in training their horses. That, um, And a lot of times it happens because people tell them that they're not good enough or that they can't do it and and that's what breaks my heart because i feel like if you really want it you can do it there's a time where you have to decide if it is really what you want but i always try to challenge people i said don't give up because you don't feel like you have the confidence give up rather because you have made the choice that this is not for you and you choose somebody else to do the job for you there's nothing wrong with that but I don't want you to ever give up or think that you're not good enough or you can't train your horse um, because you just don't feel adequate because that is simply not true. I, everybody in this world is adequate. You just got to make the decision. Is this what you want or is it not what you want? So I'm going to share a little reading with you guys out of my favorite book. I actually just opened it up this morning. I, I read it on off. I have other books that I read too. But literally, I opened up at the last page, and this is my favorite, Switch Your Brain Every Day by Carolyn Leaf. So, in Isaiah 41, verse 13, it says, For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Life throws things at us that seem to fill our brains with toxic thoughts, and they seem so hard. And, it, and they seem so hard to control. We all have experienced this helplessness. I have had, had many experiences that I would have preferred not to have had. And I'm sure you have as well. In hindsight, I can always see God ha was working behind the scenes. And there is va value in the lessons I have learned. But I have also seen on every occasion how, when I indulge in self-pity or worry, the fruit turned bad. I felt my thoughts were draining the life out of me. I knew I had to bring those thoughts into captivity. Repent. That has changed my mind. And forgive so peace and joy could flood my being again, freeing me to be the person God created me to be. Have you ever found yourself going to sleep thinking about a situation and then wa waking up thinking about the situation? Has your head ever been so filled with toxic details that it felt like you had to shake it to make room for something else have you ever had toxic thoughts consuming your every moment and coloring your attitude toward everything these toxic thoughts do nothing but harm your peace and block your ability to think clearly but the good news is that you can get rid of them by renewing your mind Thoughts are active. They grow and change according to your choices, where you choose to direct your attention. Nothing worthwhile happens in an instant. We can turn dreams into realities, but we first have to realize that it takes longer than the average one second lifespan of a Twitter post to make a change. Never give up or lose your enthusiasm for improving the way you live your life. I understand that in many ways the technology technological age has brought with it a desire to see things including changing success and instantaneousness yet there is no quick fix to success or happiness in school work and life trying to make things happen fast 
then giving up when they do not happen at the speed you have become accustomed to, to or expect it is unhealthy. It can cause you anguish and put your brain and body into toxic strays, making you weary and affecting your ability to truly be the light in the world. So Galatians 6 verse 9 says, Don't lose your enthusiasm for behaving properly. You'll bring in the harvest of the proper time if you don't become weary. So this is also, for me, personally, I feel like sometimes... I, I feel like I'm so strong in my faith and the other times I feel super dry and I feel like I'm just constantly failing um, Not like going out sinning or anything like that because I really just stay on the farm But in my mind I like unforgiveness in my heart and things that I think about impatience with my kids And these areas where I feel like I could be so much better at this um, And usually when that comes in I feel like my life is out of balance. I'm working too hard. I'm not spending enough time with God. Some people use meditation. I like to spend time in the Word and that just calms me down. And to be honest, this whole year has been a dry year for me. I have not read my Bible a whole lot. I haven't been to church. And um, not that you have to go to church in order uh, to live life successfully, however you want to call it. But for me personally, when I'm with fellow believers, it strengthened me to love more unconditionally, to forgive more freely, and to um, not become formed of the patterns of the world. Um, so, yeah, I hope this message means something to you guys. Um, uh, sorry, my reading. I'm Afrikaans. I am not English, but I hope this means something to you guys. I'm fixing to go ride my beautiful black filly, and I hope you guys will have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.